You want to feel better. You want to feel peaceful in your emotions, relaxed in your body, and comfortable in your own skin. But really, your stress levels are through the roof, your emotions are on a roller coaster, and you feel trapped in cycles of overwhelm, anxiety, and distress that you just can't think your way out of. I totally get it. And it's not your fault. There are actually primal parts of your brain that are causing you to spin in emotional reactivity and stress. But the good news is, is that we actually have the power to help those primal parts of our brains relax and rewire their overactive responses in a lasting way. So today I'm gonna to tell you about a transformative tool that can help you regulate your nervous system and empower your journey towards deep healing, lasting stress relief, and overall emotional well-being. This amazing technique is called Havening, and it's a simple somatic tool that's an absolute game changer in the world of personal development and emotional healing. If you're new here, I'm Karenna with Hello Inner Light, and I'm a trauma-informed emotional healing coach who specializes in helping my clients quickly identify and heal the subconscious blocks, old emotional wounds, and self-sabotaging core beliefs that are holding them back from living lives of authenticity and joy. So if that's the kind of thing you want more of in your life, please subscribe to my channel and stick around for amazing content to support your healing journey. Now let's dive in and learn more about havening. The havening techniques, also called havening, are a psychosensory therapeutic approach developed by Dr. Ronald Rudin and Dr. Stephen Rudin. They use gentle touch to create effective change in deep parts of the nervous system and brain. Havening utilizes the power of neuroplasticity to help you move beyond the traumas and wounds of your past, find more peace and relaxation in the present moment, and ultimately reclaim control over your future by helping you tap into your full potential. And it does all of this in a body-centered way that effectively alters your brain chemistry and rewires the old neural pathways that have been keeping you stressed, stuck, and spinning. The word havening comes from the word haven, which means to create a safe space. And that's exactly what it feels like to me when I do havening with myself and with my clients. This wonderful modality creates enough inner safety and nervous system regulation that it facilitates our ability to make deep and lasting changes to our internal world, which then ripple out into all areas of our lives. It was believed until very recently that past painful experiences, especially traumatic ones, permanently changed our neural pathways in ways that couldn't be shifted or healed. But Dr. Ronald Rudin, who is a physician and a research scientist, set out to study what happens in our brains when we get traumatized in the hopes that he might figure out how to help people heal in a lasting way. And what he discovered was truly remarkable. He was able to map exactly what happens in our brains, specifically a part of the brain called the amygdala, when we're exposed to trauma. He focused particularly on the molecular mechanisms that cause those traumas from our past to have so much power in our brains that we often remain affected by them for the rest of our lives. And the amazing thing that he discovered is that there's a way to quickly and permanently shift the neural circuits in our brains that have held on to those old traumas. And from that discovery, he created the havening techniques. The entire scientific basis for havening is complicated, so I'm just gonna boil it down to its basics in this video. It's been shown that certain types of soothing touch create delta waves in deep parts of our brains. And these delta waves can create neurochemical changes that soothe our amygdala and allow our old trauma pathways to actually be deleted and rewritten. The neural pathways that encoded the traumatic memories can be shifted in such a way that our factual memory of the past remains totally intact, but the emotional memory and the nervous system hypervigilance that cause so much chaos and lasting suffering can be totally rewritten. I've witnessed this with dozens of trauma survivors, and it's astonishing how far-reaching rewiring that emotional memory is in their lives. So havening shines in remarkable ways for people who have experienced trauma in their lives and for people who have phobias. Particularly for people who have experienced a big shock trauma, havening can change huge things very quickly in their lives. But havening isn't just for those who've experienced severe trauma. It's for anyone seeking emotional freedom, stress reduction, and personal growth. It can really help those of us who have high stress levels and experience a lot of anxiety and overwhelm. It's great for those of us who feel lost, adrift, and disconnected from our true selves. And when utilized in certain ways, it's amazingly effective for increasing self-awareness, self-compassion, doing inner child work, healing from past wounds, and reconnecting with your authentic self. 
The delta waves created by havening touch have a significant impact on a part of the brain that's responsible for our stress and trauma responses, our amygdala. This is so significant because the truth about much of our stress, anxiety, and emotional dysregulation is that it's often created, perpetuated, and exacerbated by our amygdala. We have two amygdalae in our brains, and they are part of our primal survival system. Because they're all about survival, they have the power to hijack our brains, bodies, and endocrine systems, causing our cortisol levels to rise and keeping our stress response blaring within our bodies. Our amygdala has the important job of keeping us safe in the face of threat. And while it's a literal lifesaver in dangerous conditions, it's often highly overreactive when responding to everyday stressors. For example, it can cause you to respond to a spilled coffee or a snarky comment with a fight or flight response meant to help you run from a saber-toothed tiger, which is total overkill and causes a cascade of physiological and psychological stress that can severely decrease our overall health, happiness, and well-being. When our amygdala is in charge, our ability for clear thought, rational decisions, compassionate perspective, and connection to ourselves and others goes way down. It's really hard to be the best version of ourselves and pursue our full potential and happiness when this part of our brain is running the show. But the trickiest part about this is that it can be incredibly difficult to calm our amygdala once it's activated. So not only can it cause us to overreact, it can also cause us to remain activated long after the spilled coffee or snarky comment, elevating our stress levels for long periods of time. Many of us are experiencing chronic stress, anxiety, and overwhelm because of this. The reality is we can't talk ourselves out of our stress responses or rationalize with our amygdala. It needs to be downregulated through creating a sense of physiological safety within our body. This is where havening comes in. The delta waves created by havening touch work directly to calm the amygdala, making havening an incredibly powerful and effective way to break the cycles of stress and powerfully reduce our stress levels. It's one of the only things I've ever experienced that can soothe my stress response effectively in just a matter of minutes in a deep and real way. These delta waves also stimulate the release of happiness chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. So they gently help shift your mood from the inside out and create more space in your body and brain for love, connection, relaxation, and peace. For as powerful as it is, doing havening is actually incredibly simple. If you want to unravel deeply held wounds, emotional triggers, and or past traumas, then I highly recommend you work directly with a certified havening practitioner who can guide you in specific and safe ways on your journey towards trauma resolution. And if you have big traumas in your past or you're new to trauma resolution work, I would even recommend seeking a certified havening practitioner who has additional training in body-centered trauma techniques and modalities like myself. But you can also do havening on yourself as an incredibly effective self-care technique. Because havening actually works to downregulate the stress and trauma centers of your brain and nervous system, it's truly some of the best self-care you can engage in. To do self-havening, simply do havening touch for five to seven minutes. Havening touch is done on the three parts of your body that have been shown to increase delta wave production the most, the palms of your hands, stroking downwards on your arms from shoulder to elbow and rubbing anywhere on your face, cheeks, or forehead. So find a pace that feels good to you and just rub your palms together in a way that feels soothing. This should feel good so the timing and the pressure are just up to you. And then take some time and rub down your arms from shoulder to elbow, shoulder to elbow, we're just going down. And to do havening on your face, just experiment. You can use your palms on your whole face, or you can use your fingertips on your cheeks or your forehead. You can glide your fingertips into your hairline or around your ears if you like. You can really do whatever touch feels most soothing and comfortable on your face. And you just continue like that for five to seven minutes. Just switch between the three areas in any way that feels good to you. And if any of these areas of touch don't feel good to you, then simply skip them. This is meant to feel soothing. And if some of this touch is activating to your system, then modify it in a way that feels better to you. You can also modify it for your own comfort or for any unique things about your body that would make this difficult. For example, I have some clients with hand injuries or arthritis who use the sides and backs of their hands instead of their palms. 
And while the research shows that those three areas tend to be the most effective at creating delta waves on average, some people like to get creative and try other types of soothing touch. For example, I love stroking downwards on my upper chest and sternum, and I've seen some people really enjoy stroking their legs. So you can kind of get creative, make it work for you according to your personal experience of the touch. Often people begin to feel some relaxation and relief within the first minute. And if you do it for five to seven minutes, the deep parts of your brain and nervous system will be bathed in these soothing delta waves that create such a massive decrease in our stress levels, trauma, hypervigilance, and emotional reactivity. And there are different things you can do while doing the Havening Touch to facilitate even deeper shifts. If you're highly stressed or activated, then you can just distract yourself for five to seven minutes. You can do the Havening Touch and do things like count by threes or name an animal for every letter of the alphabet or sing a song you love or do some guided imagery of one of your favorite memories or something like that. And at the end of five to seven minutes, you should feel much less distress in your body, mind, and emotions. Additionally, I have a bunch of lovingly guided self-havening exercises you can access on my website and YouTube channel to help you connect more deeply with your authentic self, lovingly tend to the wounded and vulnerable parts of your psyche, and generally increase your well-being, resilience, and peace. I also invite you to enroll in my free mini course, the Feel It to Heal It mini course, where you'll learn exactly what it means to feel it to heal it and be guided through four somatic exercises to help you deepen your body awareness and then use it as a tool for healing and authentic living. So thanks for joining me today to learn all about havening. Whether you just want some effective stress relief or you're looking for deep and powerful ways to release the wounds of the past and rewire your nervous system, havening can support your journey. Leave a comment below and be sure to check out more of my havening videos so that you can haven your way to a better, more beautiful life.